Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jake and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing the topic of how Shadows of Evil and Mob of the Dead are connected. So prepare your anus and also I hope you guys do enjoy. If you do, remember to leave a like. Let's shoot for the amazing goal of 115 likes. You guys have been smashing that so hard. And I appreciate that more than the invention of strap-on dildos. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. We're going to start off by saying Treyarch themselves, the developers of zombies, also stated that Mob of the Dead and Shadows of Evil are connected. How are they connected? Well, a lot of people are saying that it's not physically linked, but more philosophically linked. Which isn't a bad speculation, but there's also something that is in Shadows of Evil that might hint that they are both purgatory modes. The first thing that I'm going to point out is the purgatory mode that you could activate in Mob of the Dead. And we see in the trailer for Shadows of Evil, there's a very similar function that you could achieve, but instead of getting electrocution kind of mode, it's more of a monster with tentacles mode. I also believe that Shadows of Evil characters are an endless time loop for the sins that they have committed. They're punished for their crimes that they have committed. We get that they have done numerous crimes and sins in their life that have brought them there to the events of Shadows of Evil. We hear from the trailer. You want to know what I think? I think we're being punished. I think all this is happening because we're bad people. As well as that could be connected to Mob of the Dead when it's the same kind of thing, where they are stuck in an endless time loop for the sins that they have committed. Am I stuck here until I see the error of my ways? Until I repent? Well, you're gonna have to wait a long time because I don't repent a damn thing! So we get the idea from both of these sets of characters that they are getting punished for the crimes they have committed, the sins that they have committed in their lives. One more thing I want to show you guys that I believe that Shadows of Evil is in purgatory mode is, or some kind of form of purgatory mode is, taking a look at the poster. If you just zoom into the poster, just beyond Shadow Man, we see behind him those tentacles, but there's kind of in a electrical form, such as purgatory mode from Mob of the Dead. This transparent kind of look to the tentacles, I believe this is what it's going to look like. This is what the other characters are going to see when one character is activated in this beast-like mode. So in first person, you're going to be seeing the tentacles like this, but in third person, you're going to see the person that's the monster, you're going to see them like in a transparent mode, which is very similar to purgatory mode. But anyways, that's all the speculation I could give about this topic now at the moment when this game isn't even out. So I hope you guys do enjoy. If you did, remember to leave a like. Let me know what you guys think about this and give me your own thoughts in the comment section below. I'll talk to you guys next time. Goodbye.